thanks for tuning in to my playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It's an honor to do a playthrough of a mainline Pokemon game for your enjoyment, so kick back, relax, and have a great day. What I'm also going to do from time to time with these videos, because I change up the entire background to be Pokemon themed, because obviously, the game. This is the Pokemon Mega Constructs Pikachu buildable figure that I got, because it's really cute. And it's actually cool, and well built, and it looks like Pikachu. And even though it's not Lego, you know I'm a Lego guy, but like, you know, Lego wouldn't make a lot of these pieces and a lot of the colors that these Pokemon come in, and I actually built uh, a lot of them back over here, and I'm doing reviews on them. So I just wanted to show you Pikachu, and I actually have a Pikachu 10-inch pop figure coming in the mail from Target, which is apparently a thing. Can I do this without dropping it? Maybe. Maybe, beep, 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 beep. There we go. My name is Brian Saviano, aka Bricks O'Brien. We're going into Mount Moon, which. Mount Moon, is that where Clefairy is? Maybe. I saved my game. And. Okay, so this isn't as big of a pain. Ooh, who are you two? I wonder. Ooh. Looks like the looks like there's nothing here. Well then let's just search farther in. You you were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Meowth, you weren't supposed to be keep keeping watch. Meow. We know there's rare fossils buried around here somewhere. If you've got any, you better hand them over to us, twerp. That's right. If anyone is gonna profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. <laughs> So that's Team Rocket. Uh, that is uh, Jesse and James and Meowth from the animated show. The anime, as the the nerds would call it, as I call it, because that's actually what it is. Geodude, hi. Um, they are the main enemies, the reoccurring enemies of the entire Pokemon franchise, regardless of um, if it's, you know, Ash chasing after them or whoever. Let's go do this, and there we go. Nice. Um... They are the main two, along with Meowth. They eventually added uh, Wobbuffet, and then anything after that I'm unaware of because I stopped watching. But I'm sure we're going to be seeing a ton of them. And I'm really appreciating the level that they are involving not only things from the actual game, but also the show. Uh, that is something they have not alluded to in many, if any, Pokemon games before it. Um, I love that. I love that a lot. And I hope they do even more of that. And I nearly tipped over my soda, but I didn't. Because I'm a professional. Uh, Sandshrew learns Sand Attack. Um, we're going to get some of these Pokemon out of our party for right now. Actually, no, we're not. Because there's not really a point. I don't think we're getting less XP by having more Pokemon in our party. I'm going to go for this thing. Whatever. Um, yeah, and he definitely sees us. But um, and it's just a super long walk over. So, uh, before, I was talking about how there are... Uh, the fossils that we can get for Ammonite and um, Kabuto, uh, that's what they're talking about. So, before, in the first game, Butterfree, hello, um, you have to, you know what we should do? We should keep, um, what's his face? Uh, Metapod and Kakuna out, because they're going to keep earning XP and keep leveling up. I'm going to sneeze right now, hold on. Am I? Hold on. Don't do this to me. No. Oh, that's the worst. Hold on. <coughs> Gotta hit the dab. Destroy all bacteria. That's what the kids do, right? We will keep um, Metapod and Kakuna in the party because they can earn XP and eventually evolve. And we don't have to do anything. So, let's just do that. Because there's a, no, we're not going to catch Butterfree or um, Beedrill. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, five Great Balls, wow. Uh, in the original game, Team Rocket was a thing, but um, just not with Jesse and James and all them. It was just, um, we'll open the Pokemon box here. Um, it was just basically Team Rocket, Grunt, A, B. You know, they didn't have any names. It was just, that's it. They, they are just random people. But in this game, it is um, actually Jesse and James and other Team Rocket Grunts as well. As well as their leader, Giovanni. And there's a couple other 
uh, people that are in charge as well. So Metapod we will add right there. Um, we're not going to be using them in battle at all, but I just want to keep them in there. Because why not? Uh, level them up over time. Uh, Sand True, I'm not convinced we're going to use. Um, as I'm debating on what Pokemon to actually use... I'm thinking of Pokemon that I've never used before in any of my games ever because, you know, uh, yeah, we're not going over Geodude again. Um, and hopefully we can avoid a lot of these random Pokemon encounters. Um, I'm trying to think of Pokemon I've never used before, which is tough. And I'll tell you in one second. That is because um, there's only 151 Pokemon. I'm trying to find Paper Towels. Paper Towels, hi, yay. You're setting up Bellsprout. Bellsprout. Bell no, is it? I think it's it's not Bellsprout. It's like Bellsprout. Bellsprout. Um, and I use that voice for uh, for James. I, I don't typically do a lot of voices, even though I'm fairly decent at them. If you look up videos of what James sounds like, he sounds just like that. Kind of. A little bit. Wow, that did literally nothing. Um, but that'll do dip more damage over time. Um, yeah. He, he kind of sounds like that. If I had to think... Because, like, there, there's a whole intro of, like, Team Rocket blasting off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Uh, that's the whole... Uh, every time they encounter Ash, they're like, To, to protect our rule... Ah, I forget. I've seen... Hundreds of episodes of Pokemon, and I forget. Um, to defend all evil from truth and love. To extend our reach. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket. Yeah, that's... that's. I gotta get the wheels cranking again, alright? It's been a while. It's been a little while here. So, I think if I can keep talking about interesting stuff while doing these... Oh, there's James. Uh, while doing these trainer battles, and... Ooh! That'll be a little more exciting. Jesse, hello! Ah, uh, you're a pretty fast, kid. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're helping me. Ah, okay. Okay. So before, you're helping me. Ah, that's how they get rid of this stupid area. Yikes, quit following us. So before, Zubat... I hate Zubat, but we've never encountered one. So, before, this cave, this cave is a massive pain. It's disgustingly awful to try and, and or try to go in the middle. Oh, I, I threw that over to Guam. All right, where where is it going? It's going to Uzbekistan. That one's going to Zubat, great. Um, before, this cave is just the worst. Trying to navigate it all different levels and all different whatever, but the fact that Jesse and James are traveling, presumably to where the fossils are, that's giving you a bit of a hint of where to go. And what also didn't help was every single level of the cave looked nearly identical, except the, like, the layout of them, but like, if you look at, I'd love to do a comparison, <laughs> like, what I should have done was do a, um, a, a playthrough of the first game before I did this to show you the differences, but maybe I'll do that after the fact. Who knows? Um, I think that'd be very interesting, but depends how much you guys like this playthrough and if I, I want to go back and play the other games, but because um, I've only played through this one so far. Well, I haven't even finished this one. Did you come to explore the caves too? No, I came to get a rare fossil and leave and never come back, actually. That was my plan, but he's getting in the way. Youngster Josh getting in my way. Stand true. Oh boy, so, um, those electric type attacks ain't gonna do Jack Diddley. So, double kick, uh, but we're level 13, so that does nothing because, or does a, a moderate amount of damage because it's a physical, how do you know Poison Sting, really? I didn't know that. Um, it doesn't do much damage because I, because he's a rock type, so basically... If I use the move Headbutt, let's say... I don't, uh, headbutt might do a decent amount of damage because it's powerful. Right? Let's see. It does. Okay. But imagine if you were headbutting a rock. That's pretty much the the realis, the, like the Like, what it's conveying in the game. is like you were doing that. So, 
you know, it's obviously not the most effective you move you could be using. And we could really use a water type Pokemon right now, like uber badly, especially considering, uh, oh, I do know what Pokemon, what gym is next. Uh, it's uh, a water type gym. But anyways, I don't want to, I don't want to battle you. There we go. All right. And I don't want to battle that guy. So I might go back here afterward. Pearl, uh, the, uh, one of the, uh, names of the Pokemon games from the generation I like. Um, I may go back and challenge a lot of these guys after the fact, but hi, Meowth. Meowth. That's right. I love Meowth's accent in the game. Not in, in the show. Not in this game. Meowth apparently just doesn't say anything. But, like, he talks just like this, and he always is trying to go after Pikachu. And it's just a, it's a great, what a great voice for a Pokemon. Patis, 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 Patis. I know a lot of these names. I know a lot. Huge, huge Paris. Biggest Paris. Uh, why, where was that going? All right, go. There it is, excellent. Bada bing, bang, boom. So it's uh, it's it's definitely ingrained in my uh, DNA. A lot of the 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 names of these Pokemon and like uh, their moves and their typings and all this sort of stuff because uh, basically in the uh, the original show. Why are you not getting in the Pokeball? I guess I'll use a Raspberry on you because I don't like these taking too long. But um, the Pokemon instead of just being like making noises, they would say their name. As their cry, so par Paris is, is like Paris, 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 and that's all Paris says is Paris. Just like Pika is like Pika, Pika, Chew, like that. So a lot of them have different variations on that. Um, I don't know what level Kakuna evolves at. I want to say like twelve, maybe. I don't know. Um. Burrows under the ground to gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of the nutrition. Cool. Pattis has been stored in the Pokey Box. And this is a Team Rocket Grunt. Uh, these are typically the guys that you see in the uh, original game. Ooh, and it's got a cool animation. Nice. Looks... Oh, it's like Team Rocket blasting off. I get it. So, what you'll see with Team Rocket, they usually have the same types of Pokemon all the time, every time. Uh, Zubat, Coughing, Ekans, Drowsy, basically any evil looking Pokemon they will have. Any like dark types or like shady types of Pokemon they will have. So, Drowsy, I guess, is one of them. I don't remember Drowsy from before, but they're mostly known for Zubat, Coughing, and Ekans, and they, they use exclusively those. And in every generation of Pokemon, there's like a different signature you know, four or five Pokemon they use most of the time in their evolution. That did not as much as I wanted it to. Um, not very effective at all. Confusion! Uh-oh. That can be a little bit damaging. A critical hit and poison. I'm dead. Ooh, by one. Alright, so we're gonna go to our bag. Um, oh, we have an antidote as well. Cool. So, uh, that will restore us by 20 points, which is great. I'm uh, not going to heal us fully, but we should use another one after it. Because I don't know if we're going to get out of here quick enough. Um, but Confusion can be super uh, powerful because... Um... Wait, can I just get rid of this guy? Uh... Let's see. Quick attack, no. Um... Oh yeah, we're using Headbutt. Let's try it. Yeah, Headbutt's much more powerful. There we go, nice. So what we can do, because I didn't want to use Antidote right there. If you can help it, don't use a move like like an Antidote or a Burn Heal or whatever. Don't use it in battle. Try to use it after the fact, because if you use up an Antidote, that takes up a turn. And using a Potion takes up a turn. So you really have to play out what you're doing here. And then afterward... You just go into your medicine pocket, go into Antidote, use it on Pikachu, and then boom, it's done. There you go. And then it'll go away, use it on Pikachu. There's no maximum amount of items you can use after the battle's done. You can just keep going over and over, and that's it. Dude, no. I want to avoid you. So, oh, you sneaky son of a gun. All right. 
Um, I don't really care about you, actually. Um, so what you can do in this game, which I haven't even talked about this even a little bit, is uh, get what are called shiny Pokemon. So shiny Pokemon are basically the Pokemon you know and love, except they're different colors, and that's it. But we'll get into that more in a second. I just wanted to uh, show it to you. All right, Meowth, go get those fossils. Meow, meow, meow. So I'm just going to avoid you two, and I'm going to go this way, and are we going the right way? This doesn't seem... Why is it taking us all the way around the, the side? I guess we're going the right way, even though they're not facing in that same direction, but okay, sure. Uh, let's go. And then another rocket grunt there. So basically with shiny Pokemon, they're different colors. So, um, for example, Pikachu, it's not like Pikachu goes from being yellow to purple. Like sometimes it's very different. Sometimes it's, uh, very subtle. So Pikachu, he kind of turns into yellow into this like lime greenish yellow kinda um i'm trying to think i think squirtle turns purplish uh mewtwo turns from purple to green mew goes from pink to blue so just so the pokemon are shiny they're just a different color they, their stats don't change nothing about them changes at all except the color uh people will spend literally 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 hundreds of hours to get shiny pokemon like actually a long time clefairy hi um clefairy is the signature pokemon of mount moon um uh, clefairy praise the moon so that's their whole stick and i gotta go that way how do i do this go that way wow okay this is different i like this a lot we'll go this way wow we got that really well so I went this way to swing it to the left. Work. There we go. Uh, Clefairy turns into Clefable, which, uh, or evolves into Clefable. And that is a very uh, bulky Pokemon. So that'll be good to have. Uh, ooh, Oddish learned Poison Powder. Um, that'll be good to have eventually. Uh, if you do want Clefairy on your team, that is. Uh, I don't necessarily. Uh, maybe. Depends. Oh, I forgot. In the original game, uh, fairy type didn't exist. It was a uh, normal type, but now Clefairy is a fairy type, and that actually works really well against uh, dark type and ghost type, I believe. Adored for their cute looks and playfulness, they are thought to be rare as they do not appear often. So just exactly that. Um, Clefairy got transferred into there, and boom. Hi. Hey, stop. I found these fossils, man. They're both mine. Uh-oh. This guy wants to defend these fossils. It's my job to take them. Or at least one of them. Super nerd Miguel. Let me tell you, I ran into a... A horde. Like, a thousand super nerds this weekend. Let me tell you something. We'll get there eventually. In the playthrough. My my experience this uh, past weekend. But this is uh, Voltorb. He's an electric type, so... His gimmick is he can just... Almost... Wow, that's actually very easy. So he has a move, I believe him or his evolution electrode has a move called self-destruct, which basically he faints himself as well as he does a ton of damage to you. Uh, sometimes that will one hit KO you, sometimes it won't. So, ooh, Magnemite. I want Magnemite, he's cool. Um, I always liked how Magnemite looked, especially from Pokemon Snap. I loved how he looked. Um... So that can be powerful. So you don't want to mess with Electrode and um, Voltorb. You want to uh, get that done as easily as possible. Um, oh, because he's a Steel type. Oh! So if we shock him because metal items are very conductive to, to electricity. So this should do a ton of damage, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. Maybe because he... Nope. It's because maybe he is electric. It might balance itself out. I thought... Steel type was effective or super effective. Um, so Ezra became confused. So the thing with confusion, and I, I'm like I'm explaining all these things I know, but you gotta you gotta learn these things. So sometimes, just like right now, um, 
When a Pokemon is confused, it will hurt itself in its confusion. Uh, but sometimes it will just disregard the confusion and still land the attack anyways. Um, I believe if you have a higher friendship level with your Pokemon over time, um, it will either snap out of confusion more easily or it will um, disregard its confusion and still hit the Pokemon anyways. So, see right there, even though... Ooh, that was super powerful. Nice. Um, even though... Uh, Ezra was confused, still landed the attack, and we defeated Magnemite. Cool. 64 XP. Metapod grew to level 8. I want to say it's 15 for them. I haven't looked it up, and I probably should know it by now, but anyways. So he says, okay, I'll share. So, uh, these are two Pokemon. Fine, we'll each take a fossil. It's not going to be greedy, right? So these are two different fossils here. You can either choose left or right. The right is Kabuto. The left is Ammonite. Uh, if I look at the difference between the two, I'll show you the difference between the two. Um, what you have to do is take them back to um, the uh, the city that uh, Brock is in. You take them back there. I'm going to pause this semi right here, right? There we go. I'm going to open up Pokemon Go and show you. You take them back to that museum, and I believe you just give the, the fossil to him, walk out, walk back in. He's like, oh, you were gone for so long. I actually... Uh, unearthed this Pokemon and made it into a real life thing. Here you go. And then they just give you the Pokemon. So, um, Kabuto and Ammonite are, um, they're decent. I, I've never used them. Um, there was a thing where, uh, there was a stream where people could control a Pokemon game and it was just inputs from the chat and they would move the character up, down, left, right, whatever. And they captured, um, Ammonite, and they call him Lord Helix. So I'm tempted to just do that and uh, call it there. So that's what Ammonite looks like right there. Okay, you can see that. That's Ammonite. That's the blue one. And Lord Helix is uh, Kabuto right there, that guy. So I know it's kind of blurry, but you get a relative idea. So we'll go with Kabuto. Um, and those that, that Pokemon will eventually bring into our actual game too. So we will go with, no, you're not going for me, Zubat. We'll go with the Dome Fossil, and I don't believe there's any other way for you to get the other one. So, and the other is mine, and of course we run into Zubat immediately. Awesome. But again, I don't really care, so bye. Um, it says you got away safely. Sometimes you don't get away safely. Um, and I don't think there's a point in catching more Clefairy, so whatever. Stop right there! Uh-oh. Hands off, that fossil belongs to us! How did you even get ahead of us here? I don't know either. We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse. And I'm James. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. So one after another, they're going to go after us. That's not fair. This is our second most me our third most meaningful battle against Jesse and James. Sent out Ekans and sent out Coughing. In the anime, Coughing and Ekans are the Pokemon they use the most also. This is pretty cool. Uh, I like this a lot. So, uh, poison type and, uh, I think just poison type, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, so you can, this is a, a double battle, so you can choose, uh, what attack you want to use on what Pokemon here. So we're going to try to eliminate both of these guys ASAP here, and that did jack diddly nothing. Awesome. That was a critical hit, though. Um, used acid on me, or oh, on both of us, actually. Ouch. Okay, and absorb, okay, and that wasn't very effective at all, awesome. What's Coffin going to do, tackle on, of course, on me, alright, um, we'll do, no, we'll do headbutt on Ekans, because I feel like Coughing has a higher defense, uh, and we'll go absorb from you, you only have two Pokemon combined, so... Uh, there we go. That's some good damage right there. Nice. Nice flinch right there. That's not too bad. It's not very effective, though. And that's going to be used on Oddish. Okay, that's fine. I want to keep Ezra alive as much as possible. So, Headbutt to Ekans. So, that can potentially eliminate him. And we'll go... We'll go Acid. No. Oh, no. That affects both of them? Sure, why not? Let's just get it done. Get that done. Doesn't matter, because Ekans is gone. Bye-bye. See you later. Adios, muchacho. 68 or 57. 
Okay, so it is divvied up differently. Okay. We use acid. And that did nothing either. What is he effective against? Water? I'm trying to think. You're going to use tackle on me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Hmm. I don't think that does anything. I could be wrong, though. I could be dead wrong, though. Uh, what does more damage? Uh, technically acid. Um, technically they do the same thing. Kinda. Uh, but absorb. They're both not very effective, but whatever. So. Oh, that did a ton of damage. All right. Oh, it's a critical hit. That's why. Okay. So that worked in. A, uh, blah, 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 blah. That worked out in our favor. Cool. And we're up to level 15. Yes. Yes, there we go. 212 CP. Thunder Wave. I believe Thunder Wave is not a move that does any damage. Uh, hold on, wait. I, I pressed the wrong button there. Hold on. You do... Um, no damage. Uh, uses a, a jolt of electricity to paralyze it. Um, I never use Quick Attack because it's super weak. And Headbutt I like more. Um, the benefit of Quick Attack is the move always goes first. Um, that doesn't matter so much because Pikachu is super fast. So, Pikachu usually goes first anyways. So, having to use a uh, quick attack doesn't really matter. I would rather just have, you know, uh, uh, the headbutt there. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Bing! And then they're gone. So, uh, that is a much easier way to get through Mount Moon. Uh, typically, it's a massive pain and I hate it, but that wasn't too bad at all. I believe we're done. Yeah, we're done. So now we're on Route 4. Um, and now we're on the run to Cerulean City. So what you could do is go back the way you came and get that fossil uh, unlocked and you're ready to use it. So what we're going to do is head over to Cerulean City. I believe we're going to call it there. we got five more Pokeballs. Fantastic. Uh, we'll probably in the next episode grab some potions and stuff like that. That way we actually have them and can use them. And, uh, you know, we won't be caught with our tail between our legs trying to, uh, you know, uh, uh, level up our Pokemon and, you know, have them faint. We don't want any of that noise whatsoever. Now, do we? I don't believe we do. So let's go over here. Ooh, there's another item. Always be aware of items randomly, and that's a Pokemon in the bushes. What is that Pokemon? That is a... Sandshrew. Okay, cool. Not a Pokemon I necessarily need or want. So we'll just head over. Um, we may... I want to get a fishing rod soon because that helps us get... Uh, oh, I know what that is over there. Um, that area right there. We're going to go there in the end of the game. Um... That allows us to get water-type Pokemon. But now we're in Cerulean City. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, and tuning in. We're going to see what we can do here in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on the Nintendo Switch. See you lovely people of the internet next time. Peace out. Bye.